we talked about the fact that you're considered a farm winery, 25% uh, of your wines coming from the, from the grapes that are produced and the fruits uh, right there on your farm, uh, 40 acres uh, in, in Summersville area. Talk a little bit about like, what are the most, um, in terms of your varieties of wine, what are the most popular? Well, we definitely, like I said before, we, we specialize in the sweet wines. We do a lot of fruit and berry wines. Uh, the most popular wine we have is the blackberry, of course. It's called Black Satin Blackberry. Uh, it's probably our best seller. I would have to say 10 to one over everything else. Now we have 28 different uh, varieties of wine, but uh, the blackberry is most definitely the uh, most popular. And because we are a sweet wine winery, um, you know, all, all of our sweet wines are very popular. We do carry some semi-dry and some dry wines, but um, yeah, by far, uh, people come for the fruit and berries. Awesome. That's awesome. Uh, Appreciate uh, the, the point. I can imagine people are hearing this right now and going out to, to the Kroger and Giant Eagles and Walmart. <laughs> And well, we hope so. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so. One one of the things when I was uh, learning a little bit about your company, and I I believe I've met you guys down at the state fair a couple of years ago uh, in Lewisburg, uh, and I was really uh, surprised how 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 great your wine is. It's very it's delicious. But I also learned uh, that you guys are doing some specialty things like a ramp wine, and uh, you're also into mead, if I'm not mistaken. Is that correct? Uh, we did have a mead wine. Yes, we did. Um, so it was it was flavored with some honey. Uh, it's not really what we call what we call a true mead, um, but it was it was uh, sweetened with honey. Yes. Talk about this ramp wine. It, it, it's primarily like a cooking. I can't imagine somebody having you know, relaxing on the back <laughs> of a glass of ramp wine. But talk a little bit about that. Yeah. Well, actually, folks do drink it. Some people use it as a spring toxin, you know, toxic. They kind of, it kind of cleanses the system, um, just like ramps do. But most people use it for cooking. It is a wonderful um, marinade or salad dressing additive. You know, you can make um, wilted lettuce salads and things with it. But it it has a nice garlicky flavor. It's sweet, but it is it is garlicky and People, people seem to love it. We sell quite a bit of ramp wine and it's kind of a novelty folks buy to, to share with friends and things. That sounds awesome. I, I love it. Um, it I, I just think that I, I had to ask you about that. So thanks for, uh, for the info. <laughs> Appreciate you guys. Ooh. Well, we, we actually, Good. we actually have a dandelion wine as well that, that a lot of people drink. Um, we have, really cool stories about um, the picking of the dandelions on an annual basis. We have folks pick dandelions and we use just the flower part of the dandelion to make the dandelion wine. And during pandemic, we had a huge influx of dandelions from all of the children that were out of school. And <laughs> so we, we purchased those dandelions and we make dandelion wine and it, it, it's, it's really cool. Love it. I love that. 